All right. <clears throat> shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before I get started, as always, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, Wahrachakwadash, which Yahweh, that's the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, that's whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, it's his true name, and the Rachakwadash, that is the Holy Spirit. And I also want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach well in the scriptures. And salutations to all the brothers out there who are pushing this word in all truth and in all sincerity. And uh, I'm just going to do a little uh, walk and talk, just some exhortation. All right. And pretty much uh, I just got off the phone with the elder crab out here in Chicago. And, you know, we were just talking about, you know, several different things. And um, pretty much, you know, to sum it all up is... Uh, you know, you know, Jacob's just, you know, or, you know, Jake in general, right? They got to uh, gird up their loins, man. All right, take responsibility and grow. Okay? You see? And, um, you know, like I said, we were going into that. We talked about uh, the Apostle Rakaz lesson that he did with the uh, Apostle Ramlob. Um, also, the uh, Elder Dimashapa from uh, Indianapolis was there. And they, did, they just did a video on, you know, Basically, you know, taking responsibility of uh, of your actions, okay? You know, uh, uh, you know, growing, all right? Basically, you know, hey, just putting off that old man, you see? And this is something that we got to continue to do daily, all right? You know, because, hey, we all have that old man on us from time to time, you know, and we're not going to completely get rid of it until Yahweh Shah comes back. All right, you know, because they, they, we need our savior. You know, we're we're still messed up down here. But point being, though, is hey, you should be better. You know, every day. You know, you should be getting better every day. All right. You know, Jake needs to you know, you know, cut back on drinking. Hey, Jake needs to stop overspending the, their money. Hey, make sure yeah, you're working. Okay. Use wisdom while you're in this world. So on and so forth. All right? That's what you should be doing. Okay? Well, let me start off with this scripture here in uh, Job 38. And uh, I'll start at 3. Gird up now thy loins like a man, for I will demand of thee and answer thou me. All right? So we got to gird up our loins. All right? The Lord demands us, all right, to man up. Okay? Stop. Hey, I always bring it out. Hey, stop having that baby boy spirit on you, okay? That, that goddamn Jody spirit, okay? You know? Hey, living at your mama's crib, eating all the Captain Crunch, you know what I'm saying? In your PJs, hey, hey that shit's got to stop, man. You know, li living off your woman, that shit's got to stop, you know? And I was talking about um, this to brothers as well. Hey, man, you getting out there working, you know, you, you handling your business, that, that's, that's very masculine, okay? And look, our power, okay, is a very masculine power. And we got to, you know, be like our, 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 our father, man, you know, Yahweh, you know? You see? And hey, we can't have that, you know, a feminine energy on us, which that's what this society has pushed on us for the, for the longest, you know? See, especially Jake's, man. They, this society, they push it on all these people, but especially our people, man, our, our men. You know? I mean, look at our communities, man. It's, it's full of a bunch of bums, overly emotional men, all right? And just, you know, uh, just lazy individuals, man. Okay? You see? But since hey we've been called into this truth, hey we gotta uh, we gotta grow, man. Okay, we gotta change. Now, let me get a um, let me get this uh, uh, scripture here. Hey Shalom Uh Give me one second. Um, what's that in the book of uh, I think it's Ephesians, also in Colossians, if I'm not mistaken. Lord's will, maybe I'll get both. But I think it's Ephesians, the fourth chapter, where it talks about putting off that old man. Let me uh yeah let me get this. This is um, Ephesians 4 and 20, and it reads here, But ye have not so learned Yahweh Shai, 
If so be that ye have heard him and have been taught by him as the truth is in Yahweh Shai, that ye put off concerning the former conversation, the old man, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind, and that ye put on the new man, which after the Most High is created in righteousness and true holiness. All right, so we got to put off that old man, okay? And we got to put on that new man. Look, that old man, all right, is childish. All right, let me get that scripture. What is that in, um, I think, 1 Corinthians? Let me see if 13. Yep. 1 Corinthians chapter 13 and uh, 11, and it reads here. When I was a child, I spake as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child, which that thought goes into your reasoning. All right? When you look up that word, thought, I forgot the exact Greek word, but it goes into reasoning. Okay? It says, but when I became a man, I put away childish things. And you see, we got to put away, you know, these childish things. You know, this whole thought process. Okay? You know? <laughs> hey, good looking dog, man. Yeah, have a good one. Hey, buddy. <laughs> hey. <laughs> but, uh, it's a lot of you about that. But, uh, but yeah, hey, we, we got to, um, you know, um, as it says there, uh, 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 put away childish things, you know. You can't have the same mind frame that you had, you know, before you came into this truth. Okay. You know, you got to uh, really put that effort, you know, to become that new man. And it doesn't come overnight, I'll say that, all right? It, things take time, you know? You know, for certain brothers, hey, man, they, 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 they got to get that drinking under control. Hey, for certain, uh, you know, brothers, hey, you know, dealing with, you know, um, and, ch you know, dealing and, ch and chasing, you know, women, they got to get that under control. Hey, some brothers, you know, they, they got to put that, 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 that slothful, lazy demon away. You know what I'm saying? All right? They, they, you know, each brother has particular things to work on. But whatever it is, hey man, you you got to uh, put that effort into changing, man. You know, you know, ask the Lord to you know guide you properly. All right, go on a fast, maybe. All right, depending on the situation, and then put in that work, man. Okay, put in that that, that work. You see, that's what you need to be doing. All right, you got to be doing these things. Hey, because I'll say this: if you don't do it. Then look, you're, you're, you're still that old man, okay? And really, that shows that you don't have faith. That shows that you have a lack of faith if you continue to be the same man, all right? Because if, if, you, if you really believed, then you would say, you know what, man? I, this is, I'm going off here, here, and here. I, I need to change these things. I, was good. I know it's going to be hard, but I got to do it, all right? First and foremost for Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, and then secondly for myself, and then thirdly for the brotherhood. Okay? I gotta do these things. I, I can't be the same anymore. You see? Alright? And like I said, it, it, these things don't come overnight, man, you know? It takes time. Because they, you know, they, they this flesh is uh whew, we all know it, we're all in it. it, it it's rough from time from, from time to time, man. And wait, as the scriptures say what? We're subject to vanity. You know, we're in these, uh, these chains of darkness. So we're not going to be perfect. So we are going to lose some battles, no doubt about it. But I'll say this. Hey, brothers should know. Hey, hey man, you know what? I've been noticing so-and-so, man. He, man, he's really changing, man. You know, hey, he's starting to get his, you know, life together. All right? Hey, you know, he, you know he's, got a, uh, he's got a job. He's, he's been holding, holding that job for, for a couple months, a year now. He's talking about how he's, you know, he's going to move out. Okay, or, hey, you know what, hey, that, that brother, he ain't drinking that much anymore, man. You know, I'll be offering him some drinks, and, you know, he, 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 he turns them down. You know, I don't see him all, you know, <laughs> you know, for lack of words, all shit-faced, you know what I'm saying? Those are just some examples, you know? All right? Yeah, yeah, yep, I'm going to get this, uh, that Colossians 3. Let me get this, this is uh, um, Colossians, the third chapter. Let me get this real quick. Hey, 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 the water for posting that, brother. Uh, where's Colossians? Here we go. Colossians chapter 3. And we'll, you know, we'll start at 1, though. I know the brother uh, got 5, but hey, you know what? Might as well start from the top. Get a couple verses here. 
All right. Hey, this is uh, Colossians chapter 3. And we'll start at 1. If ye then be risen with Yahweh Shai, seek those things which are above. And that's what we're supposed to be doing, okay? Seek the things that are above. All right. Hey, seek this wisdom. This, this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Okay? Which, if you are doing those things, that means you're going to change your, you know, your behavior. Okay? And I'll say this. When you change or you're making changes, it's going to feel uncomfortable. Okay? It's going to feel real uncomfortable. But at the end of the day, it's for your betterment. Okay? It's for your betterment. All right? It's going to make you a more efficient man. Okay? More productive. You know, man of the Lord. All right? You see? So it's a... It's a uh, a needs be process, okay. All right, but let's get uh, let's keep reading. Seek those things which are above, where Yahweh Shai sitteth on the right hand of the Most High Yahweh. Set your affections on the things above, not on uh, things on the earth. Okay. Don't worry about these worldly things, man. Let it go, J Jake. Okay. Hey, the scriptures tell you that. Let me uh, hop over real quick to Second Ezra's. The uh, 14 chapter real quick. <laughs> yeah, the brother that put me on to, uh, to this scripture is uh, the brother Shakaria. Hey, if you're watching, hey, Shalom, man. You, hey, I remember uh, you bringing this out a long time ago, man. It's always stuck with me. This is uh, 2 Ezra 14. I'm going to start at 13. It says, now therefore set thy house in order. That's the first thing the Lord said to do. Set your house in order, starting with you as an individual. Then, hey, if you're able to, you know, let's just say if you have a, a family, hey, get them in order to the best of your ability. And then, of course, hey, that's also talking about your uh, spiritual household, okay? You know, the brotherhood, basically. Okay, hey, 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 but it starts off with you. You've got to get yourself in order. Hey, then you can, um, you, know, uh, uh, you know, rebuke, reprove, exhort, you know, uh, uh, others, okay? But it says here, and reprove thy people, which that's what we do, okay? And you also got to make sure that you're not a hypocrite, all right? That's very important because you can't be telling people, hey, don't do X, Y, Z things, but you're doing them your damn self, okay? And the Lord hates a hypocrite, okay? Hey, that's in the book of, the, uh, of Matthew, all right? Let me keep reading. It says, comfort such of them as be in trouble. How do you do that? Hey, with, the, with these words, man, Okay? That's in the book of 1 Thessalonians, the 5th chapter. It talks about that. And I think also in the book of Maccabees. All right? It mentions, you know, uh, 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 how we got to, you know, comfort each other with, with, with these words. All right? And it says, um, I'll just sit right here. Um, it says, um, where am I? Uh, and now renounce corruption. Let go from the mortal thoughts, and that's what we got to do. And it's a battle, okay, because we, we're going to have these thoughts come in our mind. And it's because we're in the flesh, all right? And, and it's a battle. It's not easy. You know, hey, but you got to always remember that you have to think spiritually. Always um, go back to the scriptures, all right? Because, look, the scriptures are going to um, answer all your questions, okay? The scriptures are going to... Um, are going to come for you. And it, and it touches on all aspects of life. They, 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 this is the... <laughs> this book, as the scriptures talk about, is the comforter, man. Okay? Look, we're not lost anymore. We have answers. We just got to, you know, uh, 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 have these things reiterated in our mind. All right? But let me keep reading. And it says here in uh, 2 Ezra 14 and 14, let go. From the immortal thoughts, cast away the burdens of man. Put off now the weak nature. And the, hey, that weak nature is hey, um, serving your flesh, man. You got to put it away. All right? You know? And like I said, it's not easy uh, to do these things. Okay? But you have to fight. And, and the more you, you, you fight, and the more you put the, the flesh into subjection, hey, the more you're going to win. Now, are you going to win every time? Of course not. But if you if you uh, uh, change your habits, okay, you're more than likely gonna get the W, man. That spiritual W, which that's what we're trying to get. Spiritual W's here. 
hey, hey, forget about these carnal W's. Get the spiritual W. All right? Get that spiritual W. Now, let me keep reading. Second Ezra 14 and 15 now. And set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee, and haste thee to flee from these times. All right? And that's what we're supposed to be uh, uh, doing. All right? Now, let me go back to that Colossians, the... Um, Third chapter, I believe it was. Hold on real quick. Where was it at? Colossians chapter 3. All right. And we'll read uh, 2 again. This is Colossians 3 and 2, and it reads, Set your affection on things above, not on things on the earth. For ye are dead, and your life is hid with Yahweh Shai and Yahweh. All right. And, and the reason why it says, uh, for ye are dead, is because we're dead to this world. All right. Once you uh, come into this truth, you know, you'll never be the same. All right? You'll never be the same and you'll never, you know, get along with this world. Because, look, you know, can two walk, walk um, as the scripture saying, was it the book of uh, Amos, I think the third chapter, can two walk together unless they be agreed? And look, we're completely contrary to, you know, the ways of this world. All right? And vice versa. This world is completely contrary to our, you know, holy godly ways you see salakia damn train that thing's a lot of back in colossians 3 and 4 when yahweh shai who is our life shall appear then shall ye also appear with him in glory mortify therefore your members which are upon earth Okay, we, we got to cut these things off, all right? Fornication, uncleanliness, inordinate affection, evil concupiscence. It's lucky if I pronounce that wrong, I always have a hard time. And covetousness, which is idolatry, for which things, uh, uh, so like for which things sake the wrath of the Most High cometh on the children of disobedience, in which, in, in the which ye also walked some time. When you lived in them and look we were all you know walking according to this you know world at some point okay we were doing these things but now it's it's the time to, to put it off okay it's time to change let's keep reading but now you also put off all these anger wrath malice blasphemy filthy communication out of your mouth lie not one to another seeing that ye have put off the old man with his deeds and have put on the new man which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him and that's what we're doing right now okay and we're putting on that new that new man okay according to 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 to, to that that holy image man okay which is yahweh okay this is that 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 that, that, that righteous mind uh, 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 state man that that mind frame okay that's what we're doing and that's what we got to continue to do, okay? And it's going to be a, 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 a battle, like I said earlier, it's going to be a battle to the very end until Yahweh Shai comes because we're not going to be perfect until Yahweh Shai delivers us and then we change. Eh? We, we, you know, as the scriptures say in 1 Corinthians that you know, our bodies are going to change with the twinkling of the eye, you know, at the sound of the last trump, you see? Then that's when we're going to be, you know, uh, perfect. All right. Hey, but I'll say this. Until then, we got to continue to to improve. Okay, continue to grow. Don't be stagnant. Okay, do not be stagnant. Hey, put in that work, man. But uh You know, that's pretty much it, man. You know, I'm going to uh get back to the, you know, to the crib right now. I was just on my walk and like I said, I was talking to the other crop and the spirit said, "Hey, do a lesson on this." Maybe, you know, brothers need to hear it. And, um, yeah, you know, hopefully it was edifying to whomever was listening. And with that, you know, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and salutations to all you brothers out there. Shalom and a Baba Ball.